Welcome to Mission Park Cares. Chris and I want to welcome you to another Mission Park Cares. We're here at Dos Kiwi Studio in San Antonio. And today, we're celebrating family. And we're going to learn everything we need to know about family portraits from Dane Miller. And we'll also go back to the Woody Museum where we'll have outdoor activities for your entire family. And later, we'll meet Chef Luca Della Casa with a family recipe we can make at home. And now we're going to meet the pastor of North Rock Church with an absolute rockin' prayer. And we'll celebrate those family members who are no longer with us. I hope everybody's doing great on this beautiful Sunday. And we're blessed to have you right here in the foyer of our Stone Oak location here on 1604. We would love to have you. If you don't have a church to call home, we would love to have you at North Rock Church. I want to pray over our kids, our students. I want to pray over parents. I want to pray over teachers. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you, God, that we can come to you, that we can come boldly before your throne and we can ask anything, Lord, anything. And today, we specifically want to pray. We want to pray first before we send our, our children off to school in this unique time that we are living in. We want to pray for their safety. We want to pray that you would cover them, Lord Jesus. Safety against sickness. Safety and peace, Lord, for them. Let them rest. Let them be excited, Lord Jesus, and give them peace, Lord Jesus. I pray, God, for uh, parents who are sending their children off to school, who are dealing with you know, the, the, the struggle, the tension that we've had. Should we send them to school? Should we teach them virtually? And, and they've chosen to send them to school. I pray, God, that those parents would have peace, Lord Jesus. That is beyond understanding. So, God, I pray for those parents, God. Give them strength. Give them peace in Jesus' name. For those parents who are, are going to be teaching their children at home, Lord, or, or their children are, are, are learning virtually, and, and there's going to be a lot of parental involvement, I pray that you would give uh, parents patience, Lord, that you would give uh, them wisdom, Lord Jesus to lead and, and to love and to help their children learn the way that you want them to, God. I pray for teachers. I pray for teachers, Lord Jesus. I pray for those teachers who are on the front line in the middle of this unique season, God, that you would give them strength, that you would give them courage, that you would protect those teachers, Lord, and that you would use them. I wholeheartedly believe that teachers and coaches, Lord, that, that what they do is a calling. God, and I pray that that in that calling, you would give them confidence, Lord. Give them confidence, Lord Jesus. That you have placed them where you have placed them. Lord, and in some cases, they can refer to you, God, and, and they can be direct about their faith. And others, they might not be able to be so direct. But God, I pray that those students would see your love shining through. That they would see your grace shining through. Use those teachers. I pray it in Jesus' name. And we thank you, God, that you're watching over every one of us. And God, we thank you that we can bring our worries, that we can bring our anxieties to you. We lay them at your feet and we leave them there. And we leave with peace and we leave with confidence. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.
and welcome back to Mission Park Cares, where we're at the Dos Kiwis studio. And Kristen, I'd like you to introduce us to our friend, Dane Miller. Be my pleasure. We're here at Dos Kiwis studio here in San Antonio with my dear friend and one of the best photographers, Dane Miller. Tell us about family photos. Where do you like to take family photos? Well, I really like shooting uh, on the river, uh, River Walk, Guadalupe River, people's homes, and of course here in the studio. But I love that element of water and rock and then the families in front of it. Well, that and makes green. sense. That's beautiful because you get the natural feeling and the whole family together. And what a fun thing families could do right now, taking a family photo because there's less tourists on the river right now, unfortunately, but this could be the silver lining. That's true. And uh, the fact that um, uh, we know all the places in San Antonio to go and we stay away from some of the tourist spots where it's overcrowded, even when it's not COVID season. So it, it is a time of COVID-19. So with parents, grandparents, children, how can family portraits keep us all connected? Well, that's a good question. Sending grandparents who can't come and see their grandchildren and what's been four or five months and who knows how much longer, to be able to send them a portrait that they can have and see on their wall or on their uh, desk or nightstand, be able to see those every day, can make a really nice connection. So Dane, if you shoot family portraits here in the studio, how do you do social distancing to keep everyone safe? Yes, good question. Um, uh, even outside and also inside, I am constantly uh, using sanitizer on all of the light switches and the bathroom doors and the front door. And I wear a mask always, and I always make sure that I'm at least six, seven, and most of the time it's 10 feet away from the families. I used to be able to go up and adjust hair and move the chin or what I need to do. Now I just do it with hand signals. That's so nice and what a great way to pivot with what's happening in our community. Yeah, you just have to right now. Dane, I know that you're part of a very exclusive list of photographers that have the privilege to shoot inside the Incarnate Word Mother Chapel. How did you get that privilege? Well, after shooting over a thousand weddings and having lots of experience, we keep the mood and we protect the sanctity of the marriage and try to you know, go around in the background so we're not being seen. Dane, tell us about this photograph right here. Well, this is Incarnate Word and we had a couple. Uh, they give us very limited time, so we're very, very organized. We know exactly what we're gonna do. We have to clear the sanctuary, get everybody out so that we can, you know, utilize the space with nobody in the background. What a beautiful, beautiful photograph. I mean, so well lined up, everything about it is it just perfect. It doesn't hurt that that chapel is just the most incredible, probably one of the most beautiful ones in the world. I agree. I mean, what a way to have a piece of Europe here in San Antonio. That's correct. Yeah. So Dane, I mean, there's, you happen to have photographs here that are near and dear to my heart right here, Peggy and Robert, but besides the photographs you take, why don't you tell us a little bit about your paintings? I went, I photographed the children, I brought uh, the images back to David that works for us, mm -hmm. and he in turn uses that as a reference and starts to paint the images, and that's how we end up with this product. So well done, and what a beautiful keepsake for family heirloom. It really is. So Dane, when people start shopping around for a photographer to do a family portrait, of course we want them to come here to Dose Kiwi Studio. But what should they ask? What should they look for? I think the most important thing is to go online, read reviews, go to Google, see how many five-star reviews they have, and see what people are saying about them. And another thing would be to uh, check to see if you like the style. We try, as you can see with the paintings of the kids and uh, the stuff around, we try to do the more classic. We don't try to do this trendy stuff that's gonna be out of style in 10 years and you're gonna wonder why you did that. Thank you, Dane. Dose Kiwi Studio is my favorite studio and we love you, we love your passion, and we love your portraits. Thank well, you. Well, I appreciate that. I love you all back and I hope that I'm around for another few years that maybe I'll be able to do Peggy and Robert's weddings. Oh, me too. Dick, aren't family portraits just the best? They're absolutely fantastic and so important to us all. Yes, it's what we have left behind. It's the memories that matter the most. And Dane Miller makes it so easy. He's so good with the children. He's so good with everyone. But his product and his turnaround time is just really bar none the best. Even the child and me. Now, let's pay tribute to lives well lived. Dick and Kristen, thanks so much for having me back. 
Um, and everybody in San Antonio, thanks for, for tuning in to this amazing show that Mission Park and the folks there are doing for our community. My name's Michael Crocker, as I said. I'm the senior pastor at St. Andrews. And, and I just want to bring a little word of encouragement today and maybe a little push forward from where we are. You know, in the book of Revelation, which nobody really talks about too, too often because it's a little confusing and sometimes a little bit scary, there's this beautiful verse in there that, that talks about how the people who know Jesus were not afraid of the battle. They went straight into the battle. They weren't afraid of what was going to happen to themselves because they knew who Jesus was and the victory that was already won. And so my encouragement is for those of you who know him, don't be afraid. Yes, we're affected by the things that are going on in our community and in the world, just like everybody else is. But as Paul says, we see it from a different perspective. And so we need to operate from a different perspective. We need to move into the community and bring community with us. If we're the hope of the world, we need to bring the hope into the world. So at our church, what we've been doing is we've been open. We've been open welcoming people in. We're following the guidelines of the mayor and, and the governor and the judge and, and CDC, all of those different things. But community is important. Hearing the message of hope and peace that Jesus has to offer us is important. Yes, there is a battle, but we're not afraid of our lives because we know that the victory has already been won. Can I encourage you not to be afraid either? We live in a world full of fear, but we shouldn't be afraid. So let me pray for all of us, pray a blessing. Most gracious and heavenly Father, I thank you and praise you for the way that you move in our world. And God, even in the midst of these turbulent times, you're moving. You have gone before us, you're behind us, you're all around us. And so you bring us a sense of peace and calmness. In the midst of the chaos, we can find hope and peace in you. May you deliver that to the people of San Antonio. May you deliver it to the people of the world. And may those of us who know that hope not hold it to ourselves, but bring it to the community who desperately needs to hear it. We thank you and praise you in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Welcome back to Mission Park Cares. And Dick, let's go to the Whitty Museum. Let's do it. And I'd like to introduce you to Maurice McDermott. You know, we're back at the Whitty Museum today and I'm excited to, that Maurice McDermott has, has invited us back. This is so special. And she had a great idea to come outside so we could hear the whistle blow from the Brackenridge Eagle or whatever they call <laughs> the train right. these days. <laughs> and also give us what the opportunities are for a little outdoor fun. Well, Dick, Thank you so much for being here. It's always wonderful to see Dick Tips at the Whitty Museum. You, your legacy, your family legacy is so important to the Whitty who cares about family legacies in Texas. And what we love about the San Antonio River, we talk about a legacy river, is that you can enjoy it here quietly right across from the park. We have eight acres along the riverside, along the San Antonio Riverside. Right here, we're in the amphitheater and often we have actors and interactors, cowboys, vaqueros, chili queens who tell these fabulous stories about the 19th and early 20th century. Sometimes we even have weddings here. 
But most important, it's a great place to explore with your families. And even when it's hot, do you feel it's really nice by the river, even on a hot day? It's just gorgeous. And these beautiful trees that are out here and the environment, like you said, the river. But if I wanted to, let's say we're at home and we're homeschooling and that's gonna to happen to us a lot yes. right now. But if we wanted to get out and get a little fresh air, could we bring a picnic lunch or anything? Yes, we encourage our families to bring picnic lunches or snacks for the little ones. We love it when our families do that. Some families bring blankets and spread out along the river, and that's a really important part of the Witty Museum experience. Gotta love that, gotta love that. Marisa, you, you, you never let any grass grow, as you can see right out here. <laughs> but the reality of it is there's always something new, something happening here at yes. the Woody. Can you tell us about anything that's coming up that's going to be new, fresh, or something you're going to be doing inside and or outside? Well, first of all, we have a lot of um, presentations right here on our campfire, some of which are by our scientists. So our STEM scientists, which is science, technology, math, and engineering, um, or engineering and math, uh, will be here and present all kinds of weather stories or how to put you know engines together so that's that's new all of the time but also our exhibitions are going to be changing okay. we will be seeing um, a lot about biology in the next year or so a secret world inside of you um, well just we'll always have uh, new dinosaurs coming in and out but what we really are trying to do is focus on the body. People are sort of interested about that right now. There's always something new with the witty. You gotta love that. And so you're reinventing yourself, you're reinventing with all your staff and, and everything else, and you're keeping it you're keeping it real for all of us here in San Antonio. Thank That's you what very our, much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Dick, the Witty Museum is absolutely magnificent and families can have, have so much fun and it's good for all ages. It's so over the top, it really is a beautiful place. But now what's really beautiful is we're gonna pay tribute to lives well lived. Hello, my name is Ed Newton, pastor at Community Bible Church here in San Antonio, Texas. And oftentimes we use words such as our faith has to be bigger than our fear. But what does that actually mean? That is the substance of where our hope is placed or where it lies has to be greater than the actual circumstance or struggle or trial or tribulation that we face. We look to the lessons of Jesus, who stood on the bow of a boat in the middle of the wind and the waves and began to speak peace be still to the storm, creating peace in the boat and in the hearts of his followers. May you be encouraged today that no matter what storm you face, no matter what trial or tribulation you may be within, that our faith is bigger than our fear because Jesus is in the boat. And today I wanna to lead you in a time of prayer, praying that God will give peace in whatever situation you may be facing. And may we be reminded of this truth in this prayer, that sometimes he calms the storm, or sometimes he calls us to be calm in the midst of the storm. So let's pray together. God, we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And I pray for my brothers and sisters across this great city. And I pray that you would give peace in all circumstances and situations. And I pray that you would stand up in the, in the face of the wind and in the face of every trial or crisis or circumstance that seems so overwhelming. And I pray that you would calm your sons and daughters with a peace that surpasses all understanding because our faith in you is bigger than any fear that we'll ever face. In Jesus' name, amen.
Welcome back to Mission Park Cares. Dick, did you know that it was Culinaria Month? You know, I got a word about it. Hi, Luca, you're super cool. Luca, we're ready for something special. Hey guys, hi, and welcome back and no no Osteria. Today, I'm here to give you a great reminder. In San Antonio, we have Culinaria going on, and we have uh, two more weeks uh, in front of us. Culinaria is a great opportunity for you to go try a new restaurant or one of your favorite restaurant to try a tasting menu for a very, very affordable price. So today I'm here to show you how to make an amazing chilled gazpacho, our melon and tomato soup. All right, so let's start working on the watermelon. So I'm gonna put it face down like you see, and we're just gonna take the top off. And then we're just gonna peel it off all around, exposing the red pulp. You don't want to have any of these uh, white flesh just because um, it's not sweet at all. Just keep turning it around. I like to pick a uh, seedless watermelon. They're pretty common nowadays and uh, give for a better smoother result. So now we're just going to roughly chop the watermelon in slices and then one more time just to make a lot of cubes. Everything is gonna go in the blender so it doesn't really matter if uh, they're all of the same size. Okay we're ready to put all the ingredients in the blender. Let's start with the tomatoes and then I'm gonna add the garlic cloves. I have uh, six garlic cloves Salt, I have uh, one tablespoon and a half of salt. And I'm gonna leave a little bit out for our garnish. Some uh, white pepper, like a teaspoon. And uh, one full tablespoon of sherry wine. Awesome. Now we're gonna start putting the watermelon. As I said, we want to have a ratio of uh, four to one uh, between the watermelon and the tomatoes, so I can easily visually measure that. Okay, we're ready to start. The blender is slowly catching all of the ingredients. Now is a good moment to start adding our olive oil. So. While the blender run, I'm gonna be drizzling the olive oil uh, on top of our mix. A little bit of splash. Awesome, guys. It smells delicious already. Do you see the little splash of summer coming out? Well, it's gonna be as refreshing as it looks. And I'm gonna pour a generous amount of my soup and at this point we're gonna be adding uh, more garnish to our dish to give uh, different layers of flavors so I picked some feta cheese for his saltiness and uh, some uh, chili oil and this is gonna give a nice uh, spicy bite to our soup and to finish it we're gonna garnish with uh, some fresh basil so guys, again, this is one of the amazing dishes that we propose for Culinaria Week here at Nonna Osteria at the Fairmont Hotel. Two more weeks to go in San Antonio, so don't lose this opportunity. Come try us. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Now let's go catch up with Bernie Martini at the Fairmont Hotel. The summer wind came blowing in from across the sea. It lingered there, touched your hair, and walked with me. All summer long, we sang our song and then strolled on golden sand. Two sweethearts and the summer wind 
Like painted kites, those days and nights go flying by. The world was new beneath the bright blue umbrella sky. But softer than a piper man, it came to call on you. I lost you to the summer wind. The autumn winds, the winter winds have come and gone. But still those days, those lonely days, go on and on. But guess whose sighs his lullabies through nights that never end. Oh, my fiddle friend, the summer wind. Summer wind, yes, that summer wind, oh, the summer wind. That was really great. Now it's time for a tribute to loved ones that will be sorely missed. Mission Park is dedicated to helping families preserve memories that will last a lifetime. Because at Mission Park, it's our mission to care. We'll see you next week on Mission Park Cares. Amazing bite of freshness, guys. I can taste the watermelon, a little bit of sweetness of the sherry wine, a touch of fresh garlic, and obviously the saltiness of the feta and the little bite of the chili oil. An amazing bite, guys. Come try it.